What's up guys, Leopold the Breaker, and I'm going to be giving you 5 tips for your Versus shows. I might do more of these later on, but I just figured it'd be a fun video to make. Just sort of give people advice from things that I've learned over the year of making my Versus show. Tip number one, be entertaining. I know research is the number one most important factor of doing a Versus debate show, but even if you're right, people are still going to get angry if you don't have some sort of value of entertainment. For example, some of my earlier episodes weren't that entertaining and the fact that they didn't have animations really didn't help, even when the majority of the people who watched it agreed with the results. This is because if you have animation, the person who was wrong and had their character lose, at least they got to see their character put up a good fight. But when there's no animation, they don't even get to see their character put up a good fight. All they hear is that their character loses. So it's kind of not fun for them. You need to be entertaining. <laughs> Tip number two, do your own research. It's very good to have research teams and to go check sources like wikis and stuff, but you're never going to get the most information by relying on other people. You do have to do some of the work yourself. I'm not saying you can't trust your research team, but everyone has a little bias somewhere, so it's good to go back and fact check for yourself after hearing your research team say something. Because when it comes down to it, all the research is based off what you see and what you believe. There's no right or wrong answer to a versus debate. No characters really have strength limits, it all depends on how you see them. It's just your job to give a reasonable explanation for why you believe what you believe by using evidence from your research. Like, I don't know, you could see Superman ranked below multi-galaxy level, but you could see him as universe level. But you'd have to provide a lot of evidence and results to back up your claims, don't just make baseless claims. For example, I think Sergeant Caro from Sergeant Frog is planet level with his Caro ball because of one thing that he says in the first episode. Yeah, buddy boy, you're gonna have to be more careful with that. The Caro Ball could destroy your planet with a single press of a button. It's the one next to Dance Party. Yeah, we've never seen a planet-destroying Caro Ball mentioned ever again, and we've never seen him come close to this kind of destructive capabilities, but Caro here states it as a fact, so therefore, it is not a baseless claim. It is evidence of Caro stating something to be planet-level that he can do. But if I were to go, the Caro Ball can destroy planets, therefore it can also destroy solar systems, guh -huh, why not? Without giving any evidence, yeah, then that's bad. That's a baseless claim. There's no proof of Karo being solar system level or anything. That's just a baseless false assumption and claim. Don't do that. That's bad. Tip number three. Never, ever, ever claim your results to be factual. Because not all people are going to believe how you see a character. For example, maybe someone doesn't like to use non-canon stuff, but you do. Then you're basically claiming your results to be factual off of something that the other person doesn't believe to be fair, which isn't fair to them. That's why I said in tip number two that there's no real right or wrong decision to a versus debate because not all people are going to see a character exactly the way you see them. So that's why you should never claim yourself to be the end-all be-all decision or the factual result. Otherwise, things like this will happen. Well, let's end this debate once and for all. Well, let's end this debate once and for all. Tip number four, do not fall for hype. This is something that I have fallen victim to and other versus debaters have fallen victim to as well. Because not only is it unfair to the other people who believe otherwise, but it's unfair to yourself because you'll be fooling yourself with false temporary bias. Like, Overwatch is popular, I love Overwatch, Tracer wins! But then three months later you'll be like, I, you know, Overwatch is okay, I guess. And then you'll change your mind, but then realize that you just fooled yourself. Or maybe you'll be like, oh, look at One Punch Man! Saitama's tanking stuff that would make Goku cringe! Saitama's so superior! So hype can lead to terrible confusions and understandings of the characters. Like, One Punch Man hype can make you believe that Saitama is supposed to win every fight effortlessly, even though that only applies to his own series and not in a versus debate. Or maybe Tracer will make you believe that future weapons automatically equals better weapons, even though that's not true at all. <laughs> So when something's popular, try not to use it in a versus debate, because you may fool yourself and fool others, and then later realize that you are wrong. Tip number five, argue, argue, argue. Your opinion means nothing if you cannot defend it. This is the entire point of a versus debate. The definition of debate is to argue, and that definition should not change at all just because the word versus is in front of it. This kind of stems from the second and third rule. This is based off your own research and your own view of the character, so you need to actually come down and defend your viewpoint of the character. You can't just sit up there and go, this is the way it is because I said so. You should never ever be seen as someone who can't handle criticism for defending your argument. 
For example, someone could go, uh, Steven could float now and he has spike bubbles and he can stretch his bubble out and capture things in it. Whoa, why did Dipper win, huh? If Steven can do all that. Then you can defend your claim by being, at the time I made this video, Dipper was the winner because Steven couldn't do all those things yet. This was made before Steven could do all that. And you could just simply explain it that way. But if you don't go down and defend your claims, people are never going to figure out that that was made before Steven could do all those crazy things. So that's why you need to argue with the other debaters. That's the entire point of a versus debate. And there's no shame in admitting that you're wrong. Like I just admitted now, it's Steven versus Dipper. It's wrong now. And Saitama versus Goku was wrong. And I was wrong about Death Battles Deadpool versus Deathstroke when it came out. I was wrong about Kirby versus Majin Buu at first. So yeah, I was wrong about a lot of things. In fact, admitting you're wrong increases your credibility. You become much more trustworthy and reliable when you admit that you've made a mistake and that you're wrong, rather than continuing to think that you're right after being shown many opposing claims that you can't defeat. And that's another reason why you shouldn't claim your show to be factual, because it makes you see criticism and arguments as attacking the show. Even when they're really not, they're just criticism and arguments. It's the point of a versus debate, to argue. And I'm just repeating myself now, so I think I'll end it here. Hopefully these tips helped you with making your versus show, and how to understand the views of others, and how to handle them. See you next time.